Welcome to another reaction video. Today we're going to be responding to a segment of an interview of a gent who um, is challenging the current Trudeau, who is the Prime Minister of Canada, and his name is Pierre Polyev. And this is, we, we won't get too much into um, uh, the content of his platform. Maybe this will be a master class in how to talk to a journalist. Um, on the on the topic, I mean, in terms of your sort of strategy currently, you're obviously taking the populist uh, pathway. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> well, ap appealing appealing to people's uh, more emotional levels, I would guess. Um, I mean, what certainly, do you mean by certainly, that? you Give certainly. Me so, the item number one is he's not letting this uh, reporter sort of glide uh, uh, glide over the standard talking points using words for their emotive value or connotative value. He's wanted to know their denotative value. One time, many years ago, I went to a news conference for our, our Idaho congressman, a, a woman named Helen Chenoweth, and it was over at the University of Idaho, and she was running late, and so were there were a bunch of people standing around waiting for her to come to the news conference. She was a conservative lady, a nice Christian woman. And across the way, there were some protesters, and one there was a young man there with a sign that says, uh, down with fascism. And so the congresswoman was not there yet, and so I went over and stood next to him, and, and I leaned over and said, what is fascism? <laughs> Same kind of thing as here. What is fascism, this thing that you uh, want to go down? And he finally came up with, when the government does bad things. <laughs> A lot of the, a lot of these people have, as Pierre uh, illustrates, they use these words because they're just blowing with the zeitgeist, but they don't know what they're talking about. Uh, you're a populist because you're wanting people to vote vote in line with their emotions, like people on the left don't have emotions. You tap certainly you tap uh, very strong ideological language quite frequently. Like what? Uh, left wing, you know, this and that, right wing, you know, I mean, it's that, that type I of ideological never talk about, I never really talk about left but or right. Anyways, a lot I of don't really believe in that. Okay. A lot of people would, would say that you're simply taking a page out of the Donald Trump uh, well, book. Like which people would say that? Well, I'm sure a great many Canadians, but... Like who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what, what he's doing is he's illustrating how much hand-waving is going into the question. Uh, lots of people, folks have said, opinions are floating out there. And so all he's asking for is, God, this is pretty good. I don't know who, but... Well, you're um, the one who asked the question, so yeah. oh, you must know somebody. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm sure there's some out there, but anyways, the, the, point of this, the point of this question is, I mean, why should, why should Canadians trust you with their vote, given... Now that's a that's a good question. Let's give credit where credit's due. He was sort of forced into the corner where he had to ask it, but it's a good question. You know, not not just the sort of ideological inclination in terms of taking the page of Donald Trump's book, but what are you also, talking about? What page? What page? Can you give okay. me a page? Give me the page. You keep <laughs> in, saying in that. terms of, in terms of tur turning things quite dramatically in terms of of Trudeau and and the left wing and all of this. I mean, you 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 make quite a you know it's it's quite a play that you make on it. So I'm I'm not just sure. I don't, under, I don't I don't know what your question okay. is. Okay, then forget that. Why should Canadians trust you with their vote? Common sense. Okay. <laughs> Make common sense legal again in Canada. Common sense for, for a change. We're going to make common sense common in this country. We don't have any common sense in the current government. You know, the guy prints $600 billion, grows our money supply by 32% in three years. That's growing the money eight times faster than the economy. No wonder we have the worst infl inflation in four decades. I'm going to cap spending, cut waste, so that we can balance the budget and bring down inflation and interest rates. You'll want to be able to pay your mortgage again. You want to be able to afford rent. Then you have to vote for Pierre Polyev because I'm the only one with a common sense plan that will bring back the buying power of your paycheck. Populism, appealing to emotions. <laughs> 
What are you people so hot about wanting to pay your mortgage? <laughs> I suppose not being able to would generate some emotion. All right, so um, as we look at this interaction, there are two main things that uh, Pierre does as he handles or manhandles this reporter. One of them is turning the questions back on him, asking him to define what he means when he asks the question. So uh, you say I'm uh, right when you you say that I'm a populist. What do you mean by that? You say that I'm taking a page from Donald Trump's playbook. What page precisely are you talking about? So he's requiring the reporter to know what he's asking before he attempts to answer instead of just going with, with what he guesses. That's one thing. The other thing is the rhetorical power of the apple. Um, it's not just eating the apple. It's eating the apple with a demeanor of saying, I don't really care what you think of me. Um, I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not clamoring for your approval. In fact, I'm, I've got more important things to do, like eat an apple. <laughs>